proactive studies of the CBRN threat from a psychological and human factor research method. Today we had uh, the first exercise organized jointly between Proactive and Inotis here in Dortmund. Proactive project is a strategic project for us because one of the Inotis objectives is to show to the stakeholders that the training centers of the network are open for research activities of the current research and development projects. The challenge is that training centers very seldom or some never did any exercise with real volunteers from the public. The heart of the whole exercise uh, was the volunteers. The civil society organizations helped us a lot to recruit volunteers and they advised us furthermore how to handle the whole recruitment process. And doing so, we were able to have 50% of our volunteers being vulnerable volunteers and they challenged the firefighters quite a lot during the exercise. It's absolutely key to bring vulnerable groups into this training exercise because the first responders don't have normal uh, experience of dealing with them. They're dealing with their vulnerabilities and dealing with their special needs and even identifying them in the first place because there's this assumption that all vulnerabilities are visible and they're not. The main scenario was an accident with a freight train um, with a tank car containing uh, hazardous substances and the accident happened in a smaller station. About 20 people were exposed with the hazmat substance and the main focus was on the part of decontamination of people. Especially for me and for the job I'm doing, um, I, I, take, I develop many ideas how we can prepare people with handicaps for such events. And probably also some ideas how uh, rescuers can be prepared for such situations. Herausforderungen sind, dass man den Betroffenen dann auch erklärt, was wir jetzt vorhaben, wie die Abläufe sind und auch auf Besonderheiten eigentlich, wie zum Beispiel, dass wir auch im Sehbehinderte oder auch nicht gehfähige Patienten mit dem Rollstuhl auch dabei haben, was sie jetzt bewusst auch vorher den Übel und Einheiten nicht mitgeteilt haben, sondern gesagt, reagiert in der Situation und das war ein super Trainingseffekt, da waren im Nachhinein jetzt auch alle Übungsteilnehmer vom Begeistert und das hat uns wirklich nach vorne gebracht. My impression was that even though possibly there are always tensions in exercising, it was so professional. We added value and we brought something to the exercise that wouldn't naturally have come. The responder said we learned a lot and even the people are involved, the general public, uh, they said okay we have now a little bit more a feeling what's going on in the CBR end event, so in our opinion great success. From ethical point of view, we are very pleased because uh, uh, it's one of the main objectives of Proactive uh, to uh, improve and to raise awareness about the vulnerable groups. And from social justice point of view, that is our main objective and I think we have uh, reached that. I trust that the lessons learned in this exercise will contribute to a better awareness and a better response capacity in the European Member States.